Greetings tankers, my name is Adam Snellgrove and welcome to Best Replays, the weekly show in which we combine only the finest replay in World of Tanks, the freshest memes and ship it your way with a sprinkle of premium ammo on top. Just a bitsy bit. If you enjoy this combo, make sure to like and subscribe for more. And with that, let's get straight into it. The first tank we've got for you today is a T-28 prototype, a venerable tank in the hands of Painvold. And while the tank might have been released even before TikTok was a thing, it's not one to be underestimated, even by these modern-day Zoomers in their BZs. So, as long as you can bear 20 kilometers per hour top speed, lack of meaningful side armor, and cheeks that just ask for some clapping, it's a pretty decent tank, actually. Unlike this green team, which has managed to crash and burn faster than Ferrari F1's hopes and dreams this season. So Painvold has to try and keep these final two allies alive as long as possible. A lovely snap right there! Uh-oh, looks like this T-34-3 has had enough. Ooh, that bounce leaves Pain Vault alone against a three-shot T-34-3 and an RT. It's going to take something special for our hero to prevail in this game. I wonder what that art is planning on doing. Oh, just getting destroyed for free, I guess. And the T-34-3 now pounces. But bounces the kill shot. And Pain Vault gives it no chance to come back. What a win. Despite a failing friendly team and heavy enemy pressure, Painvold has managed to come out on top in the very end, dealing 5,929 damage with 9 kills and 1,674 experience to their name, plus that decisive charge at the very end. And we were impressed enough to award this replay with 2,000 gold and a best replay style. Well done! Our second replay of the day comes courtesy of Martini49 in the CS52 list. Oh, okay, now that's a start. Now Martini49 can surely press the advantage and swing the game in the favor of the green team. Right? Judging by this retreat, the chance of any kind of aggressive play has been squandered long ago. And while the occasional shot might yield some results, Martini49 is for the most part stuck in a terrible position while the Allies keep dropping one after another.
as only now, well over eight minutes into this match, does our hero get stuck in. Especially now that there's six enemy tanks and only one CS-52 standing in their way. Surprisingly, Martini 49 has not been spotted just yet. Nope. Uh-oh, that's not what you want to see from an HE shell hitting an RT. Nope. Well, that's our element of surprise gone. And you just know every remaining enemy tank will be rushing our position on the double. Misses the ram and blocks the scorpion instead. Allowing Martini 49 to auto aim and destroy both. Wow! Martini 49 was as good as dead in my book, but now only a low HP Panther 2 remains. Which proves to be no challenge and brings this epic game to an end. GG. I can't say I agree with some of the decisions at the start of this replay, but when push came to shove, Martini 49 was absolutely amazing. Claiming their first ever Colobanos medal along with 7,003 damage, 9 kills and 1,886 base experience. So what better way to celebrate this achievement than by awarding our hero with 2,500 gold and our best replay style. Congratulations. For the grand finale, we bring you Mikhail Killer PL in the E25. With an ammo loadout, that's surely going to cause a few follow-up comments. Positioning themselves perfectly to snipe at unsuspecting purple tanks without being seen. Although it does seem to me that the enemies might have just figured out that getting constantly shot at by an E-25 is not quite in their best interest. So Michal Killer PL is forced to relocate to a more advantageous spot. Uh, when I said advantageous, I certainly didn't mean the back of the friendly base. However, with the minimap looking like this, our options are not plentiful. Yikes! Seems like our platoon mate is in trouble. But simply wasn't enough. And now Michal Killer PL only has the support of a single clicker hero against five enemy tanks. Oh, oh, got to turn back. Didn't even get a chance to fire back. 
And with the GW's miraculous distraction technique, Mikhail Killapiel even has an opportunity to deal with the enemy RT. Now let's see who's the annoying Kappa this time around. You'd think that the enemies would have learned the lesson about capping in the open, but nope. Or crossing an open field in a tank with no view range or camo rating, when here's an E25 on the prowl. Nope, no capping for you. Just brilliant! Michal Killer PL again pops up out of nowhere to bring the game to a 1v1 showdown. The only issue now is that our hero faces a tier 8 tank in good repair and with just a minute and a half left. Whoa! It's an all in! Oh no, the SMV had a repair kit! Incredible! What a duel! Michal Killer PL comes out on top despite being a tear down and lacking a turret. Ending up with a superb victory after a slow start and not overly impressive mid game. In the end, narrowly missing out on Kolobanov's medal, but instead settling for 5,248 damage, 8 kills, and 2,066 base experience. For which we pronounce this replay the best of the week, awarding Michal Killer with 3,000 gold and a best replay style. Good job! Phew! With that amazing duel, we've reached the end of another episode, dear tankers. For once, we took a break from the constant tier 10 tanks and went with good old tier 8 instead. So as you can see, we'll gladly accept replays of all tiers, shapes and sizes. Which is why you should most definitely send yours in. Oh, and once again, should you receive a message like this, please don't click on the link as it's a scam to steal your account. Shocking, I know. Anyway, I'm Adam Snellgrove, and I'll see you in the next one. Cheerio!